Welcome back to the Gfinity Arena. This is the Play Like a Legend season finals. It's Championship Sunday. We know who the finalists are. We wanted a dream final. We've got what we wanted because we've been good boys all year and Father Christmas listens to good boys. Uh, uh, but now we've got a third and fourth place playoff. The money's the same. They're, you know, the, the guys that were knocked out of the semi-final stage share the same sort of cash. But this is about bragging rights. This is, is about who's come third and who's come fourth. Who wants to be known as, oh, I finished top four. <laughs> I want to know that if I weren't in the top two, where was I? So this is what we've got going on. I think this is a good situation purely because you get to see Emmy assert his dominance in a way that, you know, he, he was the champion for season three. Yeah. And obviously it gives him a chance to prove that he is the rightful season three champion and third place. And it will really, obviously he's made that top four and there's no doubt about it. One of the best players in the tournament, at least for what the position says. And he, he does get that opportunity now to put himself one better and say that, you know, might not be in the top two, but I'm at least third. Yes. I'm at least the, the a rightful champion in my room. Do you know why I like, I like this? Because we get to see more Rocky. <laughs> we, get to Rocky. See, yeah. we get to see more Epsilon Rocky, who I've now decided I'm a massive fan of. That's happened. Why? Whatever. I, I think I, he's the haircut? I like his, Is it the look he gets? I like he's got a bit of swagger. He's, there's, you know, there's an attitude about Epsilon Rocky that I like. Sorry, Dave, for keeping Dave up. Uh, he's tired. He's hungry. Yeah. That's why he thought he got away with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I, I like the I like his play style. I like in fact he's you know, quite cavalier. He goes all out, uh, and you know he's, he's capable of the unexpected. I think this is going to be a great game. I think it should be an exciting game. Obviously, apart from the bragging rights, there's not a lot on the line for these no. guys, admittedly. But so we might see some fun styles come out. We might see a couple of new teams. We're actually seeing on the screen for us right now a couple of changes being brought out, and uh, there's quite a lot of players in there that these guys haven't actually used in their teams. Like we've seen Peter Schmeichel, Bobby Moore on this team right now. Class. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of tasty little gems in there that we haven't quite seen brought out this weekend. So now's a chance to actually play with them and see how it goes. I think Emmy's just got to be a little bit careful. He's just come off the back of a really painful defeat, whereas Rocky. You having know, said that, he helped, Rocky did also uh, pain, uh, painful to him. Yeah, it was, it was painful, but it, yeah, he's had he's had time to get over that now. He's um, just watched Emmy, and but Emmy's literally he's just lost, and now he's got to play again, and it's always um, horrible to have to do that. Will they not be a bit more relaxed though? They know they've got the yeah. money in the bag. Yeah, I think so. um, yeah we, you know, we're, we're kind of trying to hype up the fact that bracket rights are important, and they are. We want to know who's come third and who's come fourth. But will they not be a slightly, you know, slightly more relaxed and maybe just go for it? Just kind of give the fans something to look at, something to enjoy. Uh, hopefully, a few worldies. Who knows? I'd just try and put on a show. I wouldn't be yeah. too bothered about how the game goes. I wouldn't be trying my heart out in a sense. Obviously, if if you care about bragging rights and your positioning, like to the, to the 10th degree it is very important for these guys but I think we're going to see quite an interesting and exciting game I want to see a couple of these legends come out I want to see a Peter Schmeichel in there I haven't seen him being used in FIFA 15 before I'd love to see how he works Bobby Moore as well not exactly the most common legend that you see out there yeah. so I'd like to see a couple more newer players that maybe these guys don't don't wonder, traditionally see on the stream I wonder if Peter Schmeichel's as loud digitally as he is uh, or was in real life when he was playing Probably not. Who knows? Right. Um, we've got some other stuff to talk to you about. Tangent. We've got some other stuff to talk to you about. Uh, our, our good mates over at Green Man Gaming are still offering you the chance to pre-order FIFA 16 with a 25% discount, provided you use that code that Chris is pointing to at the bottom of your screen by midnight tonight. Time is a getting on. So please do not hang around. Head over to Green Man Gaming and get your uh, discounted pre-order now it's the cheapest you'll find it anywhere in the world social media is important there it is you know what to do just make sure you're following us liking it tagging us in everything left right and center tell us what you think and you've been great in the stream chat so far so please please do keep that coming uh fishy and chips has just wrote in capital letters bald man well done fishy and chips there are nothing wrong with your <laughs> eyes. Love it for good luck. I, do you know do what? I love it. I love it. When I'm fishy, fishies. My oh, days at work. Are a fishies little bit, and chips. My Bald days man. at work are a bit quieter. Is that, and is that less eventful without fishies you? Fishies and chips. Let me have a. Let's let's sort this out right now. Fishies and chips. This is this is where things go downhill. Is that the mate. best you've got, mate? <laughs> <laughs> is that the best you? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna. No, you need a solo shot. Give on it to on me. This, yeah. if on this face right now. If you're gonna give me some stick, fishies and chips. Bearing in mind your name is fishies and chips. There's nothing wrong with fish. Give it to me. Sorry, trout. 
That's the link. Anyway, uh, bald man, good shout, whatever. It's quite common for me. <laughs> uh, so also, you could win a Lionel Messi shirt. Just make sure you go to gfinity.net forward slash competition. Trout's not getting it. You could win it. And make sure that you're uh, engaging with us all the time and telling us what you're drawing. Tweet the stream out. Make sure that you also remember, if you, you can watch it in English, in French, on Twitch, or on YouTube, if you go to gfinity.net forward slash live dash TV. Forward slash live dash TV. TV. That's a lot of information to take in. Have we had in any celebrations drive. yet? Some we haven't had any celebrations. I'm, I'm a bit upset. Fishes Are we and really chips. Not? Not fishes, one. fishes and chips. I'm Come go on, man, man. If you're a man, man up, or if you're a woman, woman up, and show us your goal celebration. I'm I don't gonna, know. I'm going to get in the booth and record a celebration in a minute. <laughs> what would what would be your celebration? Your standard go-to celebration. I think I said it yesterday, but you know, my favourite is definitely the sprinkler. We saw this. One of this. Yeah. And then you I reset wish, yourself. I wish we had some music. I'm, I'm working on a new one. It, it goes like this. Mm. That, I that's just, I don't that's like that. No, that's no, terrible. Was that too yeah. much? That's that too weird. far? That's a bit odd, actually. That's kind yeah, of changed the tone of the whole weekend, is not it? We should have a, get a new caster. Oh, stick with a drug. We need then. Spencer back. Stick with a drug, bro. Oh, dear. What's ne that mean? Knee slide in the booth. Get myself carpet burn on my knees. Oh, I thought you mean someone just touches your shoulder and you fall down <laughs> as if you've been shot. That would be the drug, bro. Oh, that, Chelsea that, fans everywhere. That, that's, oh, a <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a legend you're talking about there, mate. I know. <laughs> right, it is time for the third and fourth place playoff. Uh, Dave, Chris, over to you. Thank you very much, Martin. We're here for the third and fourth playoff, obviously, between Emmy and Rocky, both off of defeats. We're expecting this to be quite an interesting game. Not, not necessarily the most hard-fought game, probably a bit more for entertainment purposes on both their parts, try some things out. How are you expecting this? I mean, you must have played a couple of these games before where there's not a lot on the line, but there's still a degree of bragging rights. I'd be going, That's I'd not an insult, by the way, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'll just be going for a goal of the season now. I'll just be banging them from absolutely everywhere, hoping one went in and get goal of the, uh, goal of the tournament, because that's $500. So. That's a fair point. So let's see how these teams are stacking up. Obviously, we've seen both of these players use these squads throughout the tournament. Out of 10, how do you rate these squads? Um, well, but I've got a couple of legends in there. Uh, Rocky's, I think Rocky's got the strongest squad overall, but other than that, I think they're pretty much even. I think they're very, very strong teams individually. Similar in some ways. We're seeing a lot of the same kind of players brought out a bit. They're actually not opting to make any changes off the halftime break. I don't know if that's just a pure Emmy decision or whether Rocky wants to make the changes, but I don't think they're going to be too bothered about how this game goes off the break. And actually an early on foul conceded and Emmy Boost will get himself a free kick. So obviously it, this is uh, quite a... As far as bragging rights go, this is going to be a pretty important game. We're actually going to see a couple of changes here made. Yeah, I mean, bragging rights, they're, uh, they're, they're friends. So I suppose bragging rights is something that they can, like, um, you know, have. But both of them are just going to be pretty damn hearted. And I'm not... But as I said, if this was me, I'd just literally be going for the um, goal of the tournament. Obviously, yeah. as uh, Martin said, like, Saying you finish top four, you know, it, it isn't great, but saying you finish third, it's a little bit better, especially for Emmy. If Emmy finishes third, then, you know, uh, all three of our champions will have finished in the top three, which just goes to show how good they are. Yeah. Despite all the stick we've been giving Emmy over the weekend. I think there's definitely a lot more on the line here for Emmy, you know, just proving that he is a worthy champion and just saying that, you know, after we've, we, we've harshly given him a tough time over the weekend about his performances and about whether he deserved to win a championship. This is definitely a time to show that he is worthy of the oh, win. Wow. Rocky with some lovely skills there, can't quite break it down, and Emmy is going to move out with the ball. So, for me, a bit more on the line for Emmy than Rocky here. I think Rocky more than exceeded our expectations. Emmy with the rainbow Ooh. flick and the volley, going to be t picked up by Manuel Neuer. That was one of them really nice, like, real-life shots that just rise in the whole way. Now, those ones where you just, you just know they've caught that absolutely perfectly. Emmy Boost on the ball now, looking to make something happen. Oh, oh that's, that's a true. sloppy ball Keep to give away. Out. Here comes Ronaldo. Doesn't matter, though. Super Noir to the rescue. <laughs> Sweeper keeper Noia coming to the rescue to stop that one. As Rocky playing a much more flamboyant and exciting game of football than we've seen him play over the tournament. Really throwing caution to the wind right now, and it seems to be working very heavily for him as he has now got himself a corner early on in this first leg. 
Obviously in the chat, let's see what exactly is being said. Danny Taylor 92 saying, I'm a terrible commentator to put the normal guy back on. Thank you very much, mate. I'd like to see you get up here and do it yourself. But it's all right. we know unfortunately, you're at home right now. We know who Danny Taylor is. You can just ignore that one. Moving forward, Epsilon Rocky in possession of the ball again. Has got hold of the ball, plays it into Ronaldo. Ronaldo in the box, oh. tries the McGeady spin, that unfortunately gets he away just from him. Yeah, if he just fell over, then he would have got a penalty. You can tell Rocky's just like, he's a lot more relaxed than this. He's using a lot more skills. Um, I really hope he does uh, put a nice combination together and get a I'd goal. To see him. Yeah. Seen some nice goals over the weekend. Any any that stick out in your mind? Um, I mean, the one Brian scored the free kick against them, he was an, um, oh, a really yeah. nice teamwork goal, but we haven't seen many screamers. No, I haven't seen any screamers. Haven't seen too many skill goals. We've seen a couple of individual efforts, but nothing to boast about. I think Epsilon Rocky's passing sequence against Aggie, just for the, the way that goal brought about and what it meant to score against such a formidable opponent was probably one of my favorites of the weekend so far yeah let's not forget we've still got the final to come after this as well absolutely that grand final will be played a little bit later on after this third and fourth playoff it's going to be a huge gorilla versus vitality brian the the, the grudge match that has never happened before yeah. as it's been dubbed Good ball in by Emmy. Oh, it's going towards Ronaldo, but uh, great defensive header. But let's see if um, lovely ball to Ronaldo. See if he can get Ronaldo one on one with the keeper. Can he put this one away? What was that? Ooh. I think he was hoping someone would come steaming in at the back post, and unfortunately didn't. I think it might have just been a bad shot, to be honest. Like Ronaldo, yeah, got pulled down at the last moment. And usually, get a penalty for that. Emmy boost on the attack right now. Switching the play over. Apparently, no final is a final without Emil Heskey. How do you feel about that one? I, think I agree with that. <laughs> uh, I'll agree with you as well. It's bold, but it's true. I mean, he scored a good goal in the Champions League final last year. Fif yeah, 15 years in a row now. As he said, there's no final with eight Husky, even though he's is he still even playing. Is he still uh, in Australia? Yeah, he's, he's at Bolton oh. these days. Oh, yeah, we've got uh, Oidega Johnson. Yeah. Some uh, average team age that they must have. They're both like there. 40, aren't they? Oh, Husky's got to be near. probably got that. no more legs. The funny thing is, last year on FIFA 14, Good Johnson was still on Ultimate Team. And it was, I was so happy when I discovered he was actually on Ultimate Team. It was like, it was like playing one of the older FIFAs again, but it wasn't really because he was absolutely terrible. Almost yeah. <laughs> scoring a goal, Rocky there. Doesn't manage to get it past the final line. And it's still very much in Rocky's favor right now. Step overs, Emmy with a great tackle to see that one out. Emmy under a little bit of pressure right now. Rocky is just having a whale of a time. Free kick going to be given. Emmy Boost playing in the yellow kit, kicking from right to left is the man to take it. There's a lovely ball through. Can Ronaldo get it? Oh no, that's a poor defensive clearance. Good Ronaldo save. can't get the finesse. Rocky gets the rebound. It is cleared off the line. Offside. And actually, an offside decision given. It is a bit harsh. Ronaldo didn't actually get to the ball, so I think he could have liked that one play out. Eh? See where he went. Emmy back on hot pursuit of a goal. Obviously, didn't get a single goal in that last game. At least Rocky managing to score five in his last one. I, mean, I imagine scoring five goals and losing. It's not fun. Like nah. <laughs> You're probably like, how on earth have I scored five goals and somehow I've lost? That is definitely an odd. It's like when you... Uh it's like anything really, it's like when West Ham yesterday scored three goals at home and still managed to lose. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's hard to take. Oh, I didn't get to the stats there. Got 51% possession in favour of Rocky, which isn't actually a lot compared to what we used to seeing. Shout out to Laura Marles Chow X, who says we're legends. 
Well, I think I might be, but... <laughs> harsh. <laughs> you, you still got a bit of work to go. Harsh. <laughs> Shots being fired up here. I feel like I've been betrayed. <laughs> I thought we were friends, and all of a sudden, I've just been... I've basically been pushed off this platform that we're sitting on at the top of the, the arena right now. I can't even look you in the eye anymore. Moving on to the second half. Obviously, this is a two-leg affair. Lots of changes coming in for Rocky right now. Neymar bring, bring, uh, Neymar coming on for Modric. As you can see, Rocky in your top right. Shikawi bring, brought on for Suarez. And Yaya Torre coming on for Daniel Sturridge. Standard changes for Rocky, it seems. Obviously, we've also got changes. Bobby Moore coming on from James Rodriguez in the favor of Emmy Boost. He's also brought on Munir for Benzema. As Rocky's got some opportunities oh, somehow. Oh, we've always said it over the weekend. The keepers just have these momentary laps of judgment. And there it is again. Neuer, especially. like I know Spencer said it a couple times. He's not a fan of Neuer. And Neuer, it seems like the team that makes the most goalie mistakes has tended to be Neuer. Although we have actually, seen some cool. shockers from yeah, Courtois cool. as well. I think Courtois has made slightly more over the weekend. But that's because I think he's more yeah, commonly he's, used. Yeah, yeah like, I think... Uh, there's only a couple of people using Neuer and he's not really been great at all. Must have like 10 foot wide legs or something to keep leaving so many gaps between them. That didn't really make sense, but I think you know what I'm getting at. Old Mordim, moderator, has given me a bit of love saying I'll, I will survive the eons of casting land. I didn't know there was a land for casting, but thank you very much. <laughs> I'd like to know the directions to this place. <laughs> Big shout out to him. He's been an uh, absolute superstar in the chat, keeping order and pasting all the necessary information. Big shout out to him. Spencer is currently on a break. He's getting some food. Obviously, what time is it? It's 25 past four. He's getting hungry. Yeah. He's sitting and talking. Does, I, does I take will a while, be getting, I'll be getting some next as well. I'm still quite full from lunch. I had a Nando's, had a hot. Chicken pitta and mashed potatoes. I haven't had anything, so that's. Um, You're a trooper then. Yeah. I will go and. Um, I'll get, get, better go and clean out Pete's Express, I think. So, what they got? What are you going to get? Uh, I'm a big fan of the American hot. Well, I'm a vegetarian, so. Oh. You've let yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot, no, no, I'm, I'm joking. joking. <laughs> so, what are you going to get? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to decide when we get that. I was going to say, it's yeah. a serious question. Oh! Oh, he's hit the bar! It's gone over! We're just waiting for one of these long ranges to go in. We haven't had one yet this weekend, oh. which it isn't like the Play Like a Legends tournament. We usually get at least two or three. We've, uh, yeah, every tournament we've at least had yeah. one or two long ranges that whip in. And the Ultimate Team is it's made for those kind of exciting moments and those, those goals where on head-to-head -head they are a real spectacle when you see them. They don't quite get the same dip and curve that you are used to. Handy man asked me, the key question is, where's Jermaine Defoe in this game? Bold move, we'll see how it pays off. I'm a big fan of Jermaine Defoe. I've got my own theme song for Jermaine Defoe. Oh. It's made around the song. Are you, are you going to treat Joe, us to it's it? Ma it's made around the song Jolene by <laughs> Dolly Parton. I'm not really sure how that, how does that go? Jermaine, Jermaine, oh, Jermaine, Jesus Jermaine. Okay, yeah, but what about Defoe? No, no, I mean, the main part no, really is Defoe, isn't it? It's Jermaine, though. No. Jermaine Defoe. Ah, I'll give you a 5 out of 10 for that one. <laughs> and that's just for you singing. I can tell you're not really a fan of my content on YouTube, then. Moving on. <laughs> Second half of this first leg. 1-0 to Rocky. Emmy Boost looking for that bragging rights to say, yep, I'm definitely third best in this competition and a rightful play like a legend championship. And it, arguably, Rocky could be saying, hold on a second, maybe I'm worthy of being a season play like a legend champion. Apparently, Michael 700 has said the baldy is so smelly I can smell him through my screen. Not say I've Martin. sat next to mine. I can't say he smells much, but I would like you to say that to his face because, well, as as lovely as Martin is, and as even oh. though he wouldn't hurt a fly at times, well, He's he'll probably fly. hurt you if you say that to him. He is from London after all. He's got that typical Cockney accent. I mean, he's trying a lot of long ranges in this, but if we don't get one, 
huge gorilla, Brian. If you're listening in the players' lounge, I can't really see them in the arena, but if you're listening, please try and at least score one in the final. Oh, nice effort from range there. These guys are really looking to take the most of these opportunities. Obviously, Emmy's still very much in this game. It's only 1-0 right now, and I don't think they're firing on all cylinders. You might see something get a little bit more serious in the second leg, but right now they're just calming down. Apparently, some of these guys like that song in the chat, by the way. They're all they're all laughing with me, not, oh, not, is not it with me. Is it really with you? <laughs> I like to think it's with me. We've also got... Is it I'm Einstein? Oh, I'm Einstein. Well, I'm, well, I'm clearly, well, clearly oh I'm not God. Einstein. I could, like, it's, it's spelled I-E-S-T-Y-N. So, okay. He said Baldy has a shiny head. He's a legend. Oh, well. SG Extras also said Baldy is a legend. I don't know why he's lost his name. It is Martin, after all. It's been on the lower thirds all weekend. <laughs> Nick has said the Baldy is quite attractive. Oh, he's going to like that one. It's quite clear he's only seen it from the chest upwards. <laughs> no offense, but I love you long time. Getting sidetracked though on this game. Almost coming to a close his first leg. Still 1 0 to Rocky. Rocky's not really got that serious look on his face as he did in the previous games. He's still taking it very seriously at the end of the day, but it's not quite the hard, thoughtful look that he had in previous matchups. And I've got to say, it was it's interesting in that last, in the semi-final oh. matchup, where he looked so in control and he was completely undone by Spencer. Yeah. How do you think there's such a massive gap, a skill gap, compared to the top two players in this tournament, no, you compared to the rest? You got to think Rocky only lost to Spencer by one goal. I think he just, uh, I think he was just punished every mistake he made, which that doesn't always happen. But Spencer's so good, he can do that. So no, I don't really necessarily think there's a massive gap between them. But as I said, yeah. Would you say that's maybe a testament to the skill gap? If, if Spencer's not... Admittedly, Spencer made mistakes in the end, but for yeah. the longest time, he held it off for so long. Would you say it's a testament to Spencer's skill that he managed to stop so many mistakes and capitalised on the few mistakes that Rocky actually made? Yeah, of course. Like, Spencer, he, he, he's attacking all the time. He's going to get a chance here. Bale, what is the keeper doing? I'm not really sure oh, whether that, that was... I was reading the chat. I mean, Emmy's not really... Obviously, not doesn't really care about that one. Uh, you can tell he's, he's still obviously oh, frustrated from losing to, uh, to Brian because in, in his eyes, it's, it's kind of over. And, uh, I hope there was a replay can, of that. Yeah, you can tell in his, pl in his play style, he's just kind of eased off a little. He's having a lot more yeah. long, uh, long ranges. But, yeah... Uh, I forgot where I was going before that goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were we talking about? It was uh, Spencer. Oh, the, yeah, the, uh, capitalising. Yeah, the thing is with Spencer, he's um, he's just uh, hundred percent all the time. He's always going for. It. He's so aggressive in attack that whenever he gets you, he's, he can punish you so quickly. No one can do it better than him. Like if you lose the ball to someone like Brian, you can just what a you lovely can production. You can just set yourself, and um, here's that goal. Like, oh, I thought it was a good goal. Yeah, it was, it was a good goal. goal we but, didn't need uh, a replay of that. Emmy, Bad uh, production. Emmy uh, just brought his keeper. He's obviously getting a little bit frustrated. He's already frustrated as it is. But, uh, yeah, just going back to a huge gorilla. He's, um, he's just, when you lose a ball to someone like Brian, you know, you can you have time to reset. But if you lose a ball to a huge gorilla, within about a second, he's, in. he's just he's so quick. He's got such a quick mind. He's able to create chances out of nothing within a split second. So, uh, yeah, he, his level is absolutely incredible. But I don't think he's that far above Rocky. Rocky's proved a lot of people wrong this weekend. He's uh, he's really, as I said, I've said so many times now, um, today and yesterday, that he had this performance by Rocky. He has been coming for a long time, and he's finally got his play style like fixed. And he'll probably feel he was a little bit unlucky to yeah. lose against a huge gorilla. I mean. Uh, as I said, he was just punished. Uh, every mistake he made was punished, and that doesn't always happen. The recurring thing I'm seeing over the weekend, a lot of these possession players and people who like to play a bit more slowly and methodical, it's almost like they're not really sure how to change and adapt their play style, in a sense. They don't have a, a plan B, almost. They're, they're too content with how they play that they haven't really adapted to a plan B. Do you think it it's necessary to have a plan B 
nowadays because I'm seeing a lot of where people are losing. To me, it seems like if they had changed the gameplay, yeah. they might have been able to bring it back. And a lot of these guys don't have a plan B. Uh, I think it's uh, it's smart to have a plan B, but it can't. It, it almost attracts yeah. away from plan A. It's not even <laughs> that. It, it just kind of, FIFA kind of reminds me of boxing in a little bit in a sense that you always. In your mind, you always think you're gonna win. No matter yeah. who you're playing, you always think you're gonna win. So um, you want to be in your mind. You want to think that your plan A is good enough that you won't need a plan B. And a lot of people do that. And as I said, it, it, it would be smart to have a plan B. And I think a lot of people should start like taking that into consideration. Mm. But as I said, you you want to believe that your plan A is so good that you don't need a plan B. Is it a bad mentality to not believe in your plan A? Like almost doubting yourself. Do like, you think that's bad? Yeah, yeah definitely. Because if you uh, if you think your main play style isn't good enough, then uh, you know that that's you're already going to be going into the game like in a negative light, and you, you don't want to be doing that. So in this third and fourth playoff, Emmy Boost versus Rocky. Rocky actually two 0 up in this one. Rocky in a commanding lead. Obviously, I think we've both established that they're not exactly trying their hearts out. This isn't the most worthwhile game for them. I think Emmy Boost has got more to play for here than Rocky does. Do you think that Emmy Boost will try and? change things up, maybe come into it a bit more firing in the second half, and how do you think he's going to do that? Um, I think he's just, uh, he's, he's still just so dejected. I mean, look at his face. He's, like, he's, he looks so depressed. He's just, what, he, he'll just want to get this game over with. I can see him just playing for fun, like, throwing a lot more skills in there, just trying to give the fans at home a good show, and you know, if he's lucky, hopefully he can score a wonder goal and get um, goal of the tournament. So we're just waiting for this game to load back up. But obviously, the final will be played later on. I believe about 6 o'clock tonight we'll be playing that next game. It is going to be a huge gorilla versus Epsilon Rocky. In a, not Epsilon Rocky, sorry. He's just on the screen. That's why I've said his name. A huge gorilla versus Vitality Brian. The grudge match that has never happened before, <laughs> but is hotly anticipated and one I'm very much looking forward to. It's almost uh, an immovable object versus... Yeah an unstoppable force. It's two very contrasting play styles at their best. And yeah, it's basically it's basically Floyd Mayweather against Pacquiao. Like but without the devastatingly disappointing finish. Well, I've not seen it yet. <laughs> I Let's haven't not seen jinx it either, it. but I kind of know what happens at the end. So oh, I'm going to make um, the final. Oh, right. <laughs> um, at least we didn't spoil them. Box here for some reason. Someone hasn't seen it yet. Who really wants to see it? I don't know why. Yeah, you if someone hasn't. It if like someone hasn't three seen it yet, I'll be, I'll be massively <laughs> surprised. Spoilers. Right. So these guys are just making a couple of changes here before we get back into the second leg. Obviously, if you want to get involved in playing some FIFA, you can do on our online platform at gfinity.net. We have got competitions and tournaments for FIFA every single week, and we give away four thousand pounds across all platforms a month. There's a lot of kitty on the line for you if you think you're decent at FIFA. Obviously, you can find ultimate team tournaments head-to-head. -head. I think we might even have a couple of pro clubs stuff coming up. All you've got to do is get yourself over to gfinity.net. It is completely free to sign up and register, and you'll be playing today. Right now, it is 2-0 on aggregate between Emmy Boost 34 and Epsilon Rocky. This is for the third and fourth playoff. Live here at the Gfinity Arena in London. Rocky with the ball in his possession right now. Quick passing. I, I'm quite interested. I've been very interested in how Rocky's been playing this game. Obviously, there's a lot less of a weight on his shoulders. He's playing a lot more casually, and it's actually working out really well for him. He's playing some aggressive football, which is nice to see. It's, it's nice to see him switch up the style a bit. And, I think maybe had he tried this out against Spencer, it might have led to a much closer game. What a free Ooh. kick! Oh, just grazing the netting. It was, to be fair, Rocky's play style before he played Spencer was obviously it had obviously worked pretty well. He'd uh, he'd been scoring a lot of goals and he'd barely been conceding. So if he was, well, if he was to go into that game and change play style, it would have been a little bit silly. Uh, he should have went in with a. Is that going to go? Oh, no. He, he should have gone in uh, with a a play, with, with a plan B, sorry, should I say. Because when you play someone like that, although I said you always want your, you always want to be thinking that your plan A is good enough to always yeah. win. You, like, you should always, like, try and cater for people that are that good. 
Like everyone in this competition, they they probably probably would have had a, an idea of how they would have wanted to play against huge gorillas should they have to, and uh, how they would have wanted to play against Brian should they have to. Let me boost Rocky. Obviously, definitely work closely together in FIFA. Obviously, both being from France, I'm sure they play a lot against each other quite a lot share a couple of tactics we were saying the French definitely share some tactics I think it's fair to say that some of the English guys probably also share some tactics do you think that that people like Spencer and Brian have been at the top or remain at the top so well because they're able to take other people's tactics and learn and read from their game as oh. Rocky's on the attack now oh, oh try something a little bit yeah. audacious that would have been nice now I think uh, people have actually copied a huge group around I don't think it's been in the way range there. But they haven't managed to kind of get to the same level as those guys. They, they've tried to copy and replicate their play, but haven't quite got to where they are. Well, Maybe it's just... They are just that good. It's, it it's literally that. that simple. I mean, obviously, it's harder to learn when you're constantly winning, and you're obviously going to learn more from a defeat than yeah. a win. So why is it these guys who win so often don't seem they seem to learn so much but never well their play style like they you, you can learn you know, obviously you do learn a lot more from a loss than you, you do a win but uh like when you're as, like, maybe the other opponents aren't learning. oh, oh what, what a goal <laughs> there we go it's been it's been coming it's about time and finally I mean, we've got the our long range on rocky's face oh rocky why have you skipped the replay oh, come on will definitely have that one marked down i hope fingers crossed Lovely. They have got it marked down for us. We'll be seeing that one again. Let's see it. I want to see it more than that once. That was a screamer. I only just saw it floating through the air. I was too busy gazing into your beautiful Ooh. eyes. Let's just turn this into a game of long shots. <laughs> Rocky 3 no up on aggregate in this game right now. Obviously, sometimes you just some time left. Sometimes you know as soon as the ball's left the boot whether it's going in. If they kind of hit that with the outside of the boot, that seems to be the... Uh, that seems to be the, 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 the pattern in this game where you know it's going to go in. You get the power right outside of the boot, it's just going top corner. Emmy Boost. Got to somehow get himself into this and keep his self respect right now being 3 0 down at this point. I mean, he's supposed to be play like a legend season three champion, and this isn't really a championship performance at the moment, even if it is very casual. You would have expected to be a little bit closer. Well, yeah, I guess so. But uh, I, I mean, he is—he's yeah. in the top four for a reason. Yeah, it's just it, as I said, it is really hard coming off the back of a defeat yeah. when you have to play another game. It's so hard. I think also a defeat where he didn't score. Yeah, I know. I know Rocky's coming off the back of a defeat as well, but it's not straight away. Like he's had time in between the games, whereas Emmy literally lost, and now he's having to play again. It's—it's it's not easy, and it's, it's frustrating. Remy with a great double tackle there. Ronaldo with a fake shot round the defender. Goes Ooh. for the stop and turn inside. Well dealt with by Emmy. As Rocky's following this up with Modric now. Tries a couple of skills inside and is going to be stopped. Free kick to Epsilon Rocky right now. Let's see what he does with this one. Actually thinking very long and hard about this. Has he got something up his sleeve that he hasn't had the opportunity to pull out in the tournament. It'd be a real shame if he had something hidden away and he's only getting this opportunity now to bring it out. Actually, he might go for goal with this. Gareth yeah. Bale on the free kick. Oh, that's shocking. <laughs> that I have to say some of the free kicks I've seen this weekend have been quite pony. Yeah, Spencer usually uh, Spencer usually scores one or two, you know, even from like long range. But I don't really, I'm not sure he's even scored a free kick. I know he hit the post against Rocky. That would have been a nice goal, but... Other than that, I'm not, I don't think we've seen a free kick go in yet. Which again, that's unusual. Now Rocky back on the attack. Switches the play over to Carl Walker, who finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a scoop turn. Actually loses the ball, but somehow two defenders falling into oh, each other. That's Lovely nice. skill with the nutmeg. Oh. Goes for the rainbow flick, oh. wants the volley. Bit too far in front of him to be able to connect with that one sweetly. And Emmy goes back on the attack. <laughs> He's actually trying to rainbow flick now. An advanced one at that, and it's not going to happen for him. Here comes Rocky back on the attack. Emmy again stopping him in his tracks. Emmy moving forward. Seen a couple of people who also missed the goal 
the wonder goal that Rocky scored. Don't worry, we'll have the replay at the end of the game for you so we can watch that one back. Rocky is now on the attack. Slowly building the play up. Tempo of the game dipped a little bit. Still at a very high octane level. Here comes the run. Quick pass over to Bale. Gareth Bale. Ooh, out muscled there, but he still maintained the ball. Someone on the overlap. It is Brahimi. Looks for the play inside to Bale. Not going to happen. 3 0 at half time in the second leg between these two. Very straight face from Rocky. That's what we're kind of used to. He's. Um it's not very emotional. He's no. Uh, a lot of these no guys grayer. are very, very pan face at times. Yeah. Well, he just seems to be for anything can happen. So he don't really want to. He don't want to be one of those guys who feel like you celebrate too early and then end up losing like in the ninety fifth minute. I've been told that there was talk about potentially a show match between me and Spencer. I don't know if the chat wants to see that. It'd be nice to see some support if you want to see Spencer Owen take on myself. He'll probably beat me because I'm really, really awful at FIFA. But if I get in that booth, mate, all hell's going to break yeah. loose. I'm just going to be all over the top. I, you saw a couple of my celebrations. Yeah, You didn't rate them no. very highly. I've no. got a couple of them. I might break out the whip and nae as well. I've been oh, practicing that one at home. For the good of the stream, I really hope this show match doesn't take place. And if it does, oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh that would have been naughty. He's just, uh, he's absolutely loving it now, Rocky. He's just. It's good. It's, it's attractive FIFA. I'm, yeah. I'm quite interested to see it. I'm sure the fans in the chat are really interested to see it. There's a lot of love to see the show match. I love a, I love a bit of camera time, me. So it's great, yeah. great for me. I'll probably get battered like 5 0, and I'll be quickly asking, can we cut it short? <laughs> I'll probably just say, I'll pull the Ethernet cable out of the Xbox and say, sorry, lost connection to the servers. Probably blame it on EA like everyone else does, <laughs> unfairly. Here comes Rocky. Trying to move it back out of defense. Emmy receiving the ball one more time. Let's see something from Emmy. I'd love to see Emmy get a goal. It's been a long time coming. It's going to be a long time since he actually scored a goal as well. It's got to. Is that going to knock your confidence a bit? Even it might, yeah. it might be he walks away from this event and completely forgets about it and just looks at the positives of what happened, you know, finishing fourth place in such a big tournament like this one. Well, yeah, he, could it knock your confidence a bit? Well, he's already proved that he's, uh, he, it, it, it would take a lot to knock his confidence and he's got a very, very strong mentality. He proved that yesterday when he had to play August Rosenberg coming off the back of a 6-0 uh, a defeat to Rocky, I think it was. And um, August Rosemar was... Uh, going into the game after a, uh, I think it was a seven-one victory, and uh, Emmy actually won that. So he's obviously got a very, very strong mentality. And uh, I think at, at first, when, when you lose tournaments like this, at first you're absolutely gutted, which you know it's understandable. But when you, uh, you know, when you're home and you you can like take a step back and think about it, you that's when you start like appreciating how good uh, your placement was, and you can start like thinking about those prizes. Back and forth right now between these two players. They can settle down a little bit. Rocky. Just holding on to the ball a little bit longer here. Brahimi picks it up. Shikawi lays that off to Ronaldo. Ronaldo offside, unfortunately. Still remains 3-0 in this second leg. Not long left for Emmy to try and bring this back if he wants to call himself the third best ultimate play like a legend champion long shots easily catched by Neuer I've just been corrected not only by Martin Wyatt sitting next to me but by production in my product well my grammar as it is caught. yes cool <laughs> catched. Now, now Dave's joining <laughs> in <laughs> being super smug about it I never say grammar's my forte that's why I play video games for a living and I don't See if do see anything to do with English. Although see I actually got an, I got a B in English language at GCSE. Let's see if we can see some great shoots in this game. Some great shoots. Yeah. <laughs> I think the stings just now been taken just, out of this game I'm, a little bit. Now I'm just going to try and be as bad with my <laughs> grammar as possible. <laughs> Oh, that was a naughty challenge. Just clipped his heels there. So Emmy's got a free kick here. <laughs> Let's see a decent free kick 
out of this one. We might actually see a potential goal from a free kick. Emmy, Emmy is good at free kicks. Uh, uh, well, oh. I'm not sure about Schmeichel. Yeah, Schmeichel. Got him, Schmeichel. Oh. oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Give him credit where credit is due. That is not too bad. Oh, credit wasn't due there because he missed it. <laughs> so cynical, Dave. So cynical. It's supposed to be for fun. Go on, Neymar. Score. Oh, Rabona. Ooh, oh. That was definitely. That was going to be like Gianfranco Zola S. Do you remember that one against. Uh, was it Wolves? Ben, I've been. been no, I don't think it was. Do you know when Zolo did the, uh, the the Cruyff turn in midair from the corner? Nah, I bet I've been. Wolves, oh, Wolves are too good I'm, to let I'm that happen. I'm literally mind blanking on who it was. Oh, he goes. Uh, disgraceful now, Chelsea fans. I apologise to my fellow Chelsea fans. Couldn't have been against Wolves. Too good for that. No. Let's leave it at that. Jody Craddock wouldn't have let that happen. See if Rocky can get one more before uh, the game ends. He's completely dominated the game, to be honest. Oh, that would have been a nice goal, but you can tell Amy's just been so dejected that his, uh, his play has just not been what we used to, and uh, he's obviously frustrated, understandably so. See if Emmy can get one before it, before the uh, game ends. It would be nice. It'd be nice for him to end the tournament on a slight high, not the high that he would like, but a high nevertheless. Wrapping up the final moments of this game, it's been a third and fourth playoff. Obviously, Rocky in this affair. He's come out. He's going to take the third place. Yeah, he's, he's played well, but you can tell Amy's game is just been. It's it's not been what he wanted. It's just uh, it's going to be another goal there. Oh, it's falling out for all. Right now. Yeah, Amy's just he's so frustrated, and he shouldn't be too hard on himself. He's had a really good tournament. He's a previous champion, and he's now finished in the top four. He's got a lot of money coming in. Uh, you know, some FIFA points. Uh, he shouldn't be too hard on himself. So there you go. Third place is going to go to Rocky, and Emmy Boost is going to take home fourth position. Pretty good matchup all around. I think you could tell that the the wind was taken out of them a bit in that matchup. Wasn't yeah. quite the the most well fought out and the most competitive matchup between the two. No, uh, I mean losing in a tournament, you're always going to be absolutely gutted. So um, when you have to play uh, another game straight after it. It's always going to be difficult, but um, fair play to Rocky. He gave us a good show, scored a screamer in there. Yeah. And Emmy should be too hard on Actually, we got the replay for that. Emmy I shouldn't think be we too wanted to show that. Yeah, yeah, hopefully we can get it on in a second. But Emmy shouldn't be too um, too disheartened. He's uh, yeah. you know, finished top he four. Played a, played a proved a lot of people wrong, me included. That's but, me. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, we were a little bit harsh on him. But we're going to take a quick look at that absolute screamer as I missed a little bit of it. How far out was this? He, was, he, he looked like he was at least 30. Ronaldo on the ball. It was Bale who scored it. Just Here we go. Going around with it. Here's Bale. Oh, oh wow. On half volley almost. Outside of the foot. Take a boo, sir. Take a boo. No, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm that just letting this entire... I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure about that whatsoever. <laughs> I'm letting this entire program down, but... <laughs> I suppose we'll, we'll take a, a quick break here. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we're actually going to do that show match between me and Spencer. I'm going to have to go and find him and see if we can get this one set up before the final, which will be starting at 6 o'clock, the pre-show starting at 20 to 6. So we'll be back very shortly after this break. Don't go anywhere.
somehow falls to his feet. I don't even understand how that was magically possible, but he's danced his way around four players. Not score free kick in the last tournament. Oh, he's oh. done it again! Another Rooney free kick! That one was arguably better than the one we saw in season one as well. Yeah, I think the one this season one keeps perhaps should have saved the toe off it's nowhere near that one. I'm on it. 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 I'm on